Hey everyone, this is Terminator here, and this is a three on three on Grassy. And this is a game between Bobby, myself, and Keith. And we're against Gov Cronje, uh, Quidium, and Huntsman Adaman. Okay, so here we go. I'm in the middle, and on the one side, Bobby is Portugal, and Keith. On the other side is Prussia, and uh, I've got uh, up against Quidium in the middle, and I'm pretty sure it was Cronje on this side, and Adaman is Britain on the other side. So um, this was a very good game. It's about three weeks ago now played this one, I'm just going through my replays and picking out some of the better games. I uh, haven't played a lot in the last week or so. Um, anyway, so against Quidium, who is very aggressive, uh, I thought I'd better go um, use this Brit build. It's got a couple of um, militia and also got a pretty strong secondary line of foot guards, mainly one general as a foot. So that's my deployment, as you can see, in blue. So I've got my lights in the middle with two flanks with my militia mixed in with the flanks. And I've got three cav two dragoons on one side and another dragoon on the other side now Quidium has a meat shield and he is very aggressive so he will you know you, whenever you're playing Quidium you know he's going to attack you uh, so he moves in just sort of with a little bit too close Okay, so with Quidium you really need to get some cav in as well. You don't want to let him get his cav in to your lines because he'll do a lot of damage. So I put one of my cav in to try and make him form boxes. Uh, he's drawing some fire from Keith on this side as well. And here is a cav attack. Which is always good. <laughs> so I've still managed to keep some dragoons in the middle, which he's had to try and counter with some of his cav. This is one of the reasons why I have the strong um, secondary line, because I knew that um, Quidium is very aggressive. and he'll always get his cav in so even when you form boxes just to ensure that you can kill off a lot of the cav quickly that's what the secondary line's for and that's why you usually use foot guards which have a vet better firing rate okay BSA uh, Keith has brought some uh, lances over here as well put a little bit more pressure on this side of Quidium because this is where a lot of the concentration of the fire is. Uh, looks like uh, Kanye is trying to uh, make a move on his flank. And uh, Keith is actually uh, waiting to see how the assault goes in the middle which is fairly predictable because it's me and Quidium. <laughs> um, so you always know that we're going to you know, shoot it out. Um, so I've managed to sustain only a few casualties, but the important thing is I've kept my lights pretty well protected. And 
and I'm mani managing to fend off a lot of his cab attacks, which is good. So, Grogne is pushing really hard onto Bobby. But my range fired now, particularly against Quizzy's Britain as well, and I've managed to eliminate a lot of his lights. I've got a real strong advantage here with my lights. So, so it's pretty pretty hard going now uh, with that light advantage. I can just sit, sit, sit back, sit off him a bit. Yes, Bobby's got a, a strong... the Cazadors are really strong and it's doing quite a lot of damage even in his secondary line. So, um, I've pretty much exhausted all of my cav, um, but it actually d um, served its purpose. It fended off a lot of uh, Quidium's attacks, and that way I now I can just, you know, concentrate using my lights and pushing on the flank where he's weakest. Now that I know that he's actually eliminated a lot of his cav. Uh, Adam and is bringing some of his cav over, but now the pressure's not on that secondary line. I can actually move them up into that line. Uh, but now I'm still, you know, using my lights in the middle, and now I can push with my line, uh, knowing that um, pretty much um, he doesn't have a lot of cav now to cause a lot of disruption. So I can just, you know, just push as hard as I like and uh, not have to form boxes but I'll still keep a couple of my uh, units in reserve um, Bobby's done a really good job here he's um, made Cronje who seemed to have a bit of an ascendancy in the beginning he's you know held that off and now he's counter-attacked and he's pushing him back uh, my boxing worked really well for this game. I seemed to get the boxing uh, pretty well spot on when I needed to. And getting out of the box pretty quickly too is very important. Um, and still, you know, I've got this advantage here of the lights, which can just sit back. And now I'm pushing on Adaman's flank uh, with my line. Well, it looks like I might have still had a few cav left. Now I can just push up. Okay, so Bobby's flanking around. Uh, Crony doesn't have a lot of cav left now. Um, Keith used his um, lances really well and supported me uh, in the center there really well and this was pretty telling as well him coming across and just making those units there ray up really quickly with that unit that lancer unit uh, you know from that you know that's the end of that quidium flank there quidium's only got a few line left so can just move out my lights around and i've still got pretty much coldstream foot guard foot guard and my general uh, at, you know, uh, pretty high unit numbers. Got a fensible unit mixed in there still, so yeah, I've still got a bit of militia I can use if I need to. Plus foot guards, and yeah, we're just sort of uh, applying that pressure to the flanks. Um, Bobby's pretty much finished off the rest of Crone's army. 
so we'll just make a move now on on Adamant. Uh, Keith brought uh, must have been about five or six lancers, and he used them really effectively. As you can see, he's coming in there. He's got some militia. He's got his cav making them form boxes. Plus, he's got his you know some elite units in there to shoot at those um, boxes. A very, very strong setup uh, Keith had for this game. So he played that very well. I mean, his use of cav in this was excellent. So this, um, you know, the numerical advantage is now with us quite easily. So and like I said, we've still got, still got a very strong amount of lights. So. It's very hard to, um, without any cav, to do anything much about them. And as you can see, the balance bar two is strongly in our favour now. So yeah, that was um, this was actually quite a good game. Uh, I haven't actually done too many videos with uh, Bobby playing. I think this will be my first video with Bobby. Um, and probably Keith as well, actually. I don't actually play much with um, Bobby and Keith, but as you can see there, they um tactics are really strong and Bobby just moved his, all his whole army randomly across the map he must be trying for some extra kills but anyway that was it that was a pretty good game um, and I hope you enjoyed it and um, we'll see you again soon